Hello again, all my crafty friends. Um, back with this other video, just to show you a flip through of the Tony Scrawny line. <clears throat> Lion, I can't talk today. Um, apologies for my last video too. I realized that up here, <laughs> in the right hand corner up here, you could see my where I have my phone on this little thing that I bought off of Amazon. It's just a little wire thing that clip clamps onto the thing I have hanging on the wall that uh, that my phone sits in, and you could see the wire up in the right-hand corner, and I didn't realize that until after I posted the video. I hope it's not too distracting. Anyway, it's done. <laughs> um, as you guys know me, I, I'm just, you know, I roll with what I've got. I, I don't have any fancy equipment right now. I'm using my iPhone to do videos, and one day, you know, one day I'll get a nice camera and a better setup and, and do some do some more stuff as I, as I, as I grow and, and learn and, you know, all that good stuff. Anyhow, so I did go back on this one. I don't know if you guys noticed uh, in the last video, <clears throat> uh, when I originally did this book and when I did the Mo Disney Mother Goose book, I didn't have the corners on the books. And I added uh, the Tim Holtz corners on the Mother Goose book, but I just, I have some other book corners that I purchased that I added on these. And I just think it really, it adds to the finished look of the book. And then I also noticed that the little, and it's the same thing on the Disney book, but I'm gonna leave it alone, but like the little uh, skew mark was down here in the corner. So this is, while this is an old book, um, I don't know when they started doing that, if it was the late 70s, early 80s or whatever. Anyhow, I covered it up. I put some little buttons here, and I think that just looks really, it just kind of finishes off. It looks much cuter. But this book does not have the whole story in it either because this book was a little worn. So I used the pages where I could as best I could, but it's it's not, it doesn't have the whole book in it and the whole story intact and in order and all that stuff. It's just random pieces here and there of the book. I don't even have the, the first page of it to, to tell you what the copyright date on it was but it is an older version and and it's got some you know it's, it's got some wear and tear but I love it I think it's really cute and it also has this one has six signatures in it so he's chunky and a lot of a lot more kind of randomness um, bits and pieces of things in this book just like the mother goose one and I also did the charm on the side, I've got a domino and a, another little game piece and vintage buttons and beads. Um, and this is, this is a vintage button from my stash. And I don't know if this is, I think this may be actually a, a faux leather one. It's not a real leather one, but it, it's pretty cool though. And, um, you know, just, just other beads and baubles. I love these. And, uh, Again, Johanna, that she inspired me to make these. I have not actually watched her tutorial. I just kind of did my own thing, and I think she uses, I think she uses like a thinner wax linen thread. This is a hemp twine, so it's a little tougher to get smaller beads on there. When you make these, you kind of have to have a decent, you know, decent size hole on your beads to, to do that. But anyway, I like the way it turned out. And like I said, it's six signatures sewn in on the spine with the same hemp twine that I used here. And I just wrapped it, you know, with a piece of ribbon. And this is like a, it's almost like a, um, sort of a burlap-y feeling ribbon, but it's not going to come apart. It's, it's, it's something that I purchased at Michael's, I believe. Anyway, okay, so he's chunky. And he does, he still kind of lays flat, you know, when you get him in here, um, you know, in the middle. He kind of, he's still, but he's chunky. So, what I did was I had those, that's so those same little puffy stickers. So, since he's a lion, I kind of, there's a lot of critters in this one as well. Oh, look, and I do have the cover. I do have the book. I forgot that was in here. Uh, actually, this one is 1952 renewed in 1980 so this is from 1980 but it, he was in uh he was in pretty sad shape in some places so anyway there's a pocket with the and i'm sorry about that i forgot i had that in here it's 
It's been a while since I've flipped through this book. And when I did, the pages I did use in this one, I cut off. I wish I, you know, thinking back, I wish I hadn't done that. But I was just learning and figuring out how I, you know, just doing my own thing. But it's still, he's still cute. He's still in here. Lots and lots of pages in this and tuck spots and pockets and journaling and tags. Um, and this is like a, I think this is a recycled uh, clothing tag that I just covered. You know, the green on it matched, so I used it in here and covered it with some scrapbook paper. It's got calligraphy paper. This is a uh, cardstock, the little, the little toucan bird up there. Fabric tabs. You know, a lot like I did, very similar to the way I did the Mother Ghost one. And here's some other pages from the book are in here. So, you know, you can take him and you can make other little pockets. You can cut them out, you know, whatever you want to do. Let's see how bad I can fumble around with this. Um, so that's the first signature. More cardstock, more fabric tabs. I hope I'm in frame here. This was a page from another children's book and I made a little pocket here and stuck a little index card in there. And this is a, this is a tag from, this was meant, I think I bought it at Target. And it was meant to use as a banner, so it has the whole alphabet in it. But since he had the lion on him, I, I put him in here, put this in here. And the little clip, they, they came with that little, that little banner kit. And that's where the little tabs that I used in the, the Mother Goose book came from. Um, they had them all in those little shapes on the back of the packaging. And I just cut them out and used them. So I put a um, envelope in the middle of this signature and I added one of my little lion paper clips that I made. And there's another book, there's another book page in here that I just, I thought it was cool. I like the tree on there. I think, I'm not sure if that's from this book or if it was from another book. Oops, if you take the paper clip off there. Yeah. And there's some more of that. Pete um, learned to draw. Pete can draw or something like that book. Lots and lots of room for journaling in this one as well. Uh, lots of more cardstock than what I'm tending to use now because it does make your book thicker. But it's also, you know, it's going to hold up. And this is one of my little paper clips. And this is from another paper line, this little fox. But I thought the little critters just went really well in here. Some children's writing paper, more calligraphy paper, uh, pocket. Um, one of those, a bigger tag in this one out of that same paper that has all the little definitions on it. I don't know if you can see that. Adventure, dinosaur, boat, trouble, all that good stuff. And then there's a flash card, vintage flash card. And this one, I, um, I doubled up the twine when I bound this. And, um, so there's, it's, it's not going anywhere. <laughs> That's for sure. I do my I do my um, binding a little bit different now, but I still I love the way this turned out. And this is a page from the book. And then there's a another little rubber sticker, and this is a little tuck and a tag. And these are thicker tags because these are the ones that I use like uh, you know thin packaging or cereal box or whatever. So if you if you want to take some of those out. It will, you know, give you some more room. You don't have to use the thicker ones. You can use those on gifts or, you know, whatever. It's the middle of that signature. And I also left these long, if you can see that. But if you don't like that, you can cut those right off. You know, I like that kind of, I like that junky, you know, fabric-y. I like that kind of look. So there's a flash card and another vintage flash card. Another little, another little tuck and a little lion there. 
the little vintage button, the fabric piece. So, like I said, tons and tons of space for journaling. And I think, did I glue him down? Yeah, there's a little tuck there, a little monkey. Another little piece. I love this gingham fabric. I've used it in a ton of projects. But this would be a great, this is just a, um, this would be, this would be another great kids journal. Or if you just like critters, you know, if you love that kind of stuff, that'd be a great journal for yourself or kids book, whatever. This is just a little envelope. And I had a little um, piece of that little airplane paper I thought was cute. So let's tuck that in here. And then this is the last signature. Another, this is a really big tag um, made from some packaging. It might have been Tim Holtz packaging and I just put the, the ABC paper on both sides. My card stock. And this little image, I loved him laying in the field laughing and I, I made a little pocket out of him and stuck a little tag there. And um, this is another little kid's book page. I thought that little image of this little man, I think he's playing a fiddle or something with his dog next to him. <laughs> little music sheet. Yeah. Herbie's tune. Okay, and then there's another little monkey. Another little um, pocket like I did in the other book with a little and a little circle tag and that's made out of that nautical map and then a couple more of the book pages in here and then this is the back and I signed it down here and that's it so I hope you guys like it I hope you got a better look at uh, both of these with these videos I know the first videos I did weren't the you know the first video I did I tried to cram three you know, three books in one video and I couldn't really, you know, I don't know. Anyway, I hope this, I hope this works out better. I hope you guys go visit my Etsy shop, take a look, and uh, if you see anything you like. Um, once again, I'm having the sale. <clears throat> I'll put the information in the video description. 15% uh, off everything in my Etsy shop, Carla E. Creations. And happy Mother's Day again. If I hadn't said it like five times already, I'll say it again. Happy Mother's Day to you all. And I hope everybody's having a great day and a great weekend. And I love you. Talk to you soon.